Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Motorola MA1 wireless Android auto car adapter. So this is for connecting your, your Android phone to your car without having to use the uh, USB-C cable. You're going to plug this into your car and this is going to wirelessly talk to your phone so that you can use the Android auto. Now I've got a Samsung S20 here. I also tried it with my S22 Ultra. It works with both of them. Okay, so this was super simple to operate. You're just gonna plug it into the USB outlet that you normally plug your cable into your phone to make your Android Auto work. There is a light on it. There is also like a pairing. I didn't have to use that pairing button or anything. I was just able to plug it in and pair it on my phone. So it does come with this adapter. This is for like sticking your dongle to something on your car. I'm not gonna be using that, but it does come with this. Looks like two-sided um, little squishy thing here. So it does describe that is a reset button for resetting the Bluetooth. And it does have an LED light right there. White, powered on, blue is Bluetooth pairing mode. Green is connected to Android Auto. So we'll be checking that light right there to make sure it's working. So I've checked this with on a Honda CRV, but today I'm gonna be checking it on a, or a, an Acura RDX is what I'm gonna be trying it on. And it was very easy, very easy to use. Okay, so on this Acura RDX, in the center console here, there is this USB outlet. This is what we would normally plug this cable in, and when we plugged it into her phone, then the Android Auto would work. But I'm not gonna have to use this cable. This does work wirelessly now. So it is one, make sure you only get it one way. It's only gonna go in there one way, and then there's what the dongle is gonna look like. So I could attach it to the, si to the side here to kind of get it out of the way with that uh, two-sided adapter right there. So you do have to kind of let the system come up and running. This is like a computer. So you've got to let it come up and running. You can't just get in your car and start and go right away. The Android Auto does have to kind of connect. It does take a little bit. And so we can see the light is green on the dongle. Okay, so when I first powered it on, I had to go into Bluetooth settings and make sure your Bluetooth is on. And then I had to find it. It's called the Android Auto 4083. It'll come up with a code, just hit pair. Now what's interesting about this is, is it also still connects to the hands-free link that your car. So up here in my car right there, I can still see the hands-free. It's still connected there, but now my Android Auto is also connected. Now at first I thought that was gonna be a problem, but it, it's not, it didn't end up being a problem. This thing seems to work seamlessly. Even though it doesn't show like it's blue, it is still connected to Android Auto. Because normally with when something's connected with Bluetooth, you'll see it turn blue. This one never turns blue, but it does go under the, the paired section. When you first, you do have to scroll down. It'll be under available devices and just click on it. But pairing it was so simple. I just can't get over how simple it was. Okay, so now when I click on Android Auto, it's there. And so it brings up Google Maps. So this is where it's going to be really important. I have the Google Maps on my phone, but I'm not able to use Google Maps on my phone when your Android Auto is connected. So this can be a little tricky. You have to use your Google Maps in the Android Auto now. So you've got to use your little mouse pad and search, and then it will give you directions. So let's just say I go to want to go to Walmart, and it'll start, and then it automatically starts everything, and it starts the directions and the call out directions and all of that. You'll see that when you click on the Maps icon, you'll get this little thing that says the phone can't display because you're using Android Auto. So that sometimes I find it easier that if I if I pick my destination before I turn my car on, before I uh, the wireless dongle connects to it, if I program my destination in and hit Go, and then the phone starts the route, and then when I turn my car on, then it automatically transfers and looks like this. That makes it a little easier. Otherwise, you're using your pad to use it like a phone. Now I also noticed when you do the voice command, it brings up the Google Assistant and you're able to call people in your phone book. Anybody that's in your phone book, when you're connected with Android Auto, you're able to call without having to program them into your car first. And then we're still able to receive calls. So if somebody calls you, you're still gonna receive it on your phone. You're still gonna have all the controls that you have on your steering wheel. It's gonna show up here. But the main thing is, is your Android Auto now is a selection. So when it's not connected, that's kind of like blacked out like that. See how you can't select that. But when it's, when it's colored like that, then you're able to select it. 
I'm very happy with this purchase, other than the little quirk with the, using the map um, app on your phone, not being able to use it. It, it. it actually works really well. I was very surprised. Hope the video helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.